minutes. And today we're going to do something a little bit unusual, a little bit unique, I hope, uh, although I've done it before. Uh, by the way, using SVO2 for cardiac output, which I think uh, I certainly have discussed a lot in all the times that I've talked about PA catheter and base deficit, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to take a look at these four patients. And you can see their basic information here, most important on the top, or at least critically important is SCVO2 and SVO2. And you can see that oftentimes there's quite a bit of difference between the two. The first one being SCVO2, the second one being SVO2. And then the patient's cardiac output, their index, their heart rate, their blood pressure, stroke volume, and stroke volume index. So my first question is always, uh, and really that's really important, is there something missing here? Is there anything else that if you had one thing to choose, just one, you would want to know to give you clarity on this information? So right now there's two people on, hopefully some more will join, but it's okay if not. So Eugenia, if you had one other piece of information, what would it be? So you've got SVO2 and SCVO2, cardiac output index, heart rate, blood pressure, stroke volume, and stroke volume index. So what would you choose if you could choose one other thing? Or Jean, either one of you, You're only two people. So this is great. So if you're not certain, that's okay. It's okay. Uh, you're both muted. So you'd have to unmute to tell me, or you could send it by chat. And if neither one of those is okay, what do you say, Jean? Do you have an idea? Not qualified to pro provide a formal answer. Okay. Informal? This is okay. what I've been trained on, right? So the, these are the basics. So I'd be looking to you for guidance, Barbara, in terms of what else is relevant. Okay. Well, that you know what? That's an excellent answer. An excellent answer, and it's a very good way to avoid. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this, and then I'm going to go to, hopefully, to my polling. Oops, yep, okay. So I'm going to go to polling and start off with question one here, okay? And question one is, does the patient... Does patient A have an adequate cardiac output in SVO2? And this is pretty simple, yes or no. And of course, that's going to be anonymous. So uh, I probably am not going to post this one. I, I might even turn off the recording. I think it's so great, but I want to know what you're thinking. Okay, so one has answered. And how about our other person? probably feel pretty good about answering. If you're not gonna answer, it's okay. All right, and then I'm gonna move on to the next patient. That's patient B. Patient B, so that's question number two. Patient B, SCVO2 is 35, SVO2 is 22. Beautiful cardiac output, 7.8, cardiac index 4.2. Heart rate's 135, blood pressure is 120 over 30, stroke volume's 57, and stroke volume index is 26. So taking a look at that, again, the question is, does this patient have an adequate cardiac output in SVO2? So go ahead and try to answer this. And I am gonna, I'm gonna stop my recording. I'm just gonna throw that away because this is such